Dear Final Cut Pro, I'm expecting big things of you in 2023. Although your core mechanics like the magnetic timeline and asset management are still best in class, it's clear you're not putting in as much effort as the other NLEs. So here are five New Year's goals that I'm giving you for 2023. Number one, machine learning improvements. While Final Cut has been able to detect if there is a couple of people on a shot for years, I agree with Matthew O'Brien that we're not properly leveraging the full potential of Apple Silicon machine learning core counts. Think about it. On any of Apple's photo apps, you can already do object detection and text detection, and it does work for photos and videos. And whilst you're at it, Final Cut, could we bring over the one touch background removal tool, please? Number two, a built-in transcription and caption generator. Now currently, us Final Cut Pro editors, we don't have a native tool for this. We either manually transcribe and add it to our timeline, pay a subscription service like Simon Says, or we buy a third-party app like Captionator. And I nearly bought Captionator until my editor friend from Fairable suggested that I try out Premiere's built-in free tool instead. So I did. I took this three and a half minute sequence and it transcribed it on device in seconds with multiple speakers and I would say got 90 to 95% of the text correct, even the British place names that I thought it would get wrong. But if you think about it, iOS 16 launched with a beefed up speech to text dictation feature. So bringing that over to Final Cut seems like a no brainer. Number three, better keyframe management for multiple objects. For example, it can be quite a faff to animate a pack shot where you've got multiple titles, objects, and video layers, because there's no easy way to tell when an animation ends or begins. You end up with a really tall vertical stack or placing a reference marker on a video clip underneath. So much so that maybe you go to motion. What I'd like to see is bringing over motion's keyframe editor view and merging that with a bit of Premiere's keyframe view brought to Final Cut in a more user-friendly way. Number four, better audio mixing tools. We have had a little bit of audio love recently with the addition of audio crossfades and the voice isolation features, but many professionals round trip their projects to Pro Tools or Logic Pro because of a lack of basic mixing abilities. In Premiere Pro, for example, you can mix your project right there in the timeline. What many of us would like for Final Cut is a roles-based audio editor. And whilst you're at it, could you allow us the ability to separately adjust the system sounds from Final Cut's playback volume? And number five, folder flexibility. Imagine if you could create a favorites folder directly in the UI and drag and drop your preferred methods for effects, transitions, and generators, even your preset texts and other styles and color palettes without having to go through finder windows and weird workarounds. It would be great, because then you could have multiples for your personal style or any brand or series you're creating. And if you want extra credit next year, along with bug fixes, faster waveforms, and thumbnail generations, if you could just maybe allow us to move the timeline with the playhead, that would be really nice. So, Final Cut, I expect at least two of these features to drop with an update around the time that the Apple Silicon Mac Pro releases. It's not difficult because a lot of the tech already exists. We love you, just love us back. Sincerely yours, The Backroom Editor.